Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now in today's video I'm going to be talking about the St. Patrick's Day event week that is currently going on and doing the, the event mission that is running for the entire week. So this is the post that The Hunter Classic shared. It says, top of the morning folks, hoist a stein of Guinness or a tumbler of Jameson if you prefer and join us celebrating this year's St. Patrick's Day. We've got guineas on tap for our intrepid hunters so take a shot in the events mission, competition and a bonus in harvesting cottontail rabbits. Of course, we also have a Paddy's Day collectible to find if you need more. Participate for prizes, trophies and glory. The most celebrated hunter with the most guineas at the end of March 23rd wins a crack first prize. In order to take part in the event, you'll have to click on the big banner you'll find in the launcher or website homepage. So that's basically just what the event is going to be about. Like I said, this video is me doing the mission and it shows me doing all of the mission things except for the one objective of harvesting a red fox because I thought it had to be a male but a female counted and I didn't hit record. But anyway, it says calendar, the event duration is seven days, starting on the 17th and ending on the 23rd. And the, the mission runs for the entire week. And then and from the 17th to the 19th, there's the full pot challenge for Feral Goat. From the 19th to the 21st, there's the Lucky Charm challenge for European Rabbit. And from the 21st to the 23rd, there's Elf's Eye challenge for Red Deer. The campaign says we're not entirely sure who left them, but basically there's these pots of gold to be picked up all over the ER. And they'll give you between one and three guineas for each one you pick up. So keep an eye on them while you're hunting. And they're not sure how, how many collectibles the little helpers left out. So we're also given five guineas for each cottontail rabbit harvested as they eat clovers. And we need all of them for St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Ultimately, the more guineas you collect, the more in-game prizes you are rewarded. And here are all the different ways you can earn guineas with the different the different amounts you can get there are the trophies here for the prizes for the competition if you come first second third and fourth to tenth and then this is the mission what this whole video is about so it says this year's mission is called paddy wagon crack to meet you hunter i'm sean healy from the fair county of donegal we've got our own reserves here and i've been asked to do a comparison of species basically we want to know how ours are doing in this neck of the woods against the same or similar species we are also looking at reintroducing some big predators because deer are taking over our countryside i tell you i'm in, i'm told the ehr has everything i'm investigating so could i trouble you to get some specimens i'm not asking for free you know i've got some real saint patrick's rewards for anyone who brings me the full list so it says you must harvest some species for an irish game expert to compare to the ones in his donegal reserve harvest seven animals in any order and across different hunting sessions and the mission will last through the event's duration from the 17th to the 23rd of march and completing it will earn the hunter the following rewards which is a really 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 nice looking trophy a very nice camo happy camper tent in this sort of tropical camo style 3000 gms and 100 guineas so it's a really nice little mission to complete and like i said there's more prizes for the competitions that are running so it's really worth doing if you can go and try your hands at any of it and finding these pots of gold i have found to be extremely easy so this is what you're looking for it's a pot of gold surrounded by a little patch of clovers so pretty iconic for saint patrick's day and with what they you know with what they showed on the website so really nice to find and it's just an extra little collectible that you can get and earn some more rewards so that's pretty much it in terms of event details and that's the boring part of the video over so well I, I hope it's the boring part of the video over um they can be found on all reserves i found them pretty much everywhere and like i said they're pretty easy to see because they're quite a large collectible compared to some of the valentine's day event stuff so you shouldn't have too much of a problem finding them so i have done every single objective for the saint patrick's day event week mission and this is going to be all of the objectives being completed, like I said, except for harvesting a fox weighing over 10 kilos because I thought it had to be a male and I harvested a female and it counted 
And then I realised that I'd messed up and not hit record. So that is the only one that's not in this video, but it was just a, a basic female fox that I shot. And I think she weighed just over 10kg, so it was nothing special. But every other objective is in here, and a couple of really, really nice bonus animals. So I really hope you enjoy watching. There, like I said, there's a couple of bonus animals, one from Hirschfelden and one from Hemeldahl. And I am really pleased. One of them is another leaderboard animal, I will say that. And yeah, I have found this event to be really, really fun. So hopefully you enjoy watching and hopefully if you are taking part, I hope you do really well. Hopefully you win. I know I'm not going to get enough guineas because I cannot shoot cottontail rabbits. I'm just terrible at actually finding them to shoot them. So I don't, I'm not going to win, but I wanted to do the mission and get the, the trophy and, you know, participate in the festivities. And you will notice in the trophy shots that I am wearing the tweed outfit with the green top hat, um, like the flat cap thing. So it's really, 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 really nice just to have that, I thought would be just a little nod to the fact that it is for St. Patrick's Day. And yeah, so... I will show all the objectives that you have to do for the mission at the end so that you can see it was like harvest an airborne pheasant of over 23 scoring, harvest a willow ptarmigan at over 25 metres whilst airborne, harvest a wild boar of over 160 kgs, harvest a red fox of over 10 kgs, harvest a male bobcat scoring over 8 and harvest a feral hog that was also weighing over 160 kgs I think and at less than 30 meters so yeah you'll see all of that that I'm doing and you'll see me get the uh, the tick for each and every mission except like I said the red fox one which I completely forgot to record so sorry about that but here is everything else and like I said I really hope you enjoy watching and good luck if you're com you're competing in this and good luck with the mission and everything and hopefully you find some really really nice animals and thank you very much for watching.